I'm Scott Yu. Join me on a trip through Buenos Aires to learn the tango. This is all part of getting to know Astor Piazzolla, an Argentine composer who fell in love with tango. The violin corneta. Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. This is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> Now hear this, Piazzolla's History with Tango on Great Performances. When music meets dance, tonight at 9. KQED thanks our members and community partners for their support. Introducing a technological achievement so advanced, it rivals the moon landing. Wow. Okay. Rude. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Funding for presentation of this program is provided by Architect Beekeeper Mentor A Raymond James Financial Advisor Taylor's advice to help you live your life Life well planned Actually, you don't need vision to do most things in life It's exciting to be part of a team driving the technology forward I think that's the most rewarding thing People who know, know BDO. Funding was also provided by the Freeman Foundation. By Judy and Peter Bloom Kofler Foundation. Pursuing solutions for America's neglected needs. And by contributions to this PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. And now, BBC News. Sarah Campbell, you're watching The Context on BBC News. Russian state media says the American journalist Evan Gershkovich has been formally charged with espionage. Two British Israeli citizens have been killed in an attack in the occupied West Bank. Earlier, Israel launched airstrikes on Gaza and Lebanon, calling it retaliation for several dozen Hamas rockets fired at Israel. 25 years ago, the Good Friday Agreement was signed, marking an end to the sectarian violence, a police warn of potential attacks ahead of the anniversary. We start tonight with reports on Russian state media that an American journalist has been formally charged with spying. Evan Gershkovich, who works for the newspaper The Wall Street Journal, was arrested last week, taken to court and detained. The Kremlin said at the time he'd been caught red-handed. Gershkovich has denied he's done anything wrong. Speaking a little earlier, the head of the global Magnitsky justice campaign, Bill Browder, told us why he thinks Gershkovich has really been charged. I think we should look beyond their, their legalistic... Uh, they know the hilltop site as Temple Mount, revere it as the site of two uh, biblical temples long ago uh, destroyed. And because of the holidays, you have the Muslim visitors, but also uh, Jews who want to go there. And because Israeli police, very present today in the old city, um, they control access to that site. Um, that's one of the real points of contention when they escort Jewish visitors um, in the mornings to go and visit. And, and before that, um, demand that there should be a, a clearing of courtyards, that uh, Palestinian Muslim worshippers uh, should be moved away. And we have seen two nights uh, this week in which it became very violent inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound where Israeli police actually raided the mosque. Um, they say that they were acting against Marx agitators barricading themselves inside point out that they threw fireworks as we could see in that report um, but for the Palestinians the, there's just been widespread outrage about the, the pictures that have emerged uh, that we saw in that report there and just I, I wonder how easy it is for you to travel around because obviously there's lots of things happening in various different parts of, of the country in the city how easy is it for you to really get a handle on what's happening and where 
you know, one of the other journalists uh, in Jerusalem I'm friends with was commenting today that you don't know where to go at the moment. Should you head north? Should you head south? Um, or, you know, wait in Jerusalem? And as we've seen, there have been these incidents now um, in the occupied West Bank and in Tel Aviv as well. So things happening all over the place. Um, we rely, as you can imagine, on all different kinds of sources, whether it's uh, social media reports, often uh, initially flagging things up. We also have to use the social media footage because, you know, you're, you're relying on people who find themselves, I guess, in the wrong place at the wrong time for pictures of rocket launches or, or airstrikes. Um, <clears throat> Some of those pictures from Gaza, from northern Israel, Lebanese footage, we managed to get that authenticated by, by one of uh, the news agencies. We've got our own colleagues in Gaza Strip and also in the BBC Beirut office who are helping us to verify things. Thank you, Yolanda, for giving us uh, that update from uh, Jerusalem. Uh, and once again, there's been a shooting in Tel Aviv. At least two people have been wounded uh, this evening. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. Thank you. Funding for presentation of this program is provided by Financial Services Firm Raymond James. BDO, Accountants and Advisors. Funding was also provided by the Freeman Foundation. By Judy and Peter Bloom Kovler Foundation. Pursuing solutions for America's neglected needs. And by contributions to this PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. presentation of this program is provided by architect beekeeper mentor a raymond james financial advisor tailors advice to help you live your life life well planned actually you don't need vision to do most things in life it's exciting to be part of a team driving the technology forward i think that's the most rewarding thing People who know, no BDO. Funding was also provided by the Freeman Foundation. 
by Judy and Peter Bloom Kovler Foundation, pursuing solutions for America's neglected needs. And by contributions to this PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. And now, BBC News. I'm David Willis in Washington, and this is BBC World News America. A gun attack in central Tel Aviv leaves one dead and four wounded. Israel blames Palestinian militants. Before that, Israeli, uh, Israeli, Israel launched airstrikes on targets in Gaza and southern Lebanon as tensions rise in the region. Russian state media says the American journalist Evan Gershkovich has been formally charged with espionage. The U.S. has yet to confirm the reports. And it's been 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement. We hear from the generation born after that landmark deal about life in Northern Ireland now. to World News America on PBS and around the globe. We start in Israel, where the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has ordered the mobilization of police and army reservists following a car ramming attack in Tel Aviv. One person was killed and five were injured. The assailant was shot dead. It comes amid escalating tensions between Israel and Palestinian militants following raids on the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem by Israeli riot police earlier this week. Israel blames the Palestinian militant group Hamas for the attacks, and it reiterated overnight, with the retaliated overnight, with airstrikes on Lebanon and Gaza. Rockets were fired from Lebanon into northern Israel after the raids, the biggest such attack in 17 years. Israel, in turn, responded with airstrikes on the Gaza Strip and southern Lebanon. And hours after the airstrikes, two Israeli sisters, who officials say were originally from London, were killed and their mother injured in a gun attack on a car in the West Bank. We should warn you that this report from our Middle East correspondent Lucy Williamson contains some distressing images. Today, on this